Jessica from Discovery Center Museum in Rockford, Illinois, and I have my science helper, Kaylee, who will be joining me in just a little bit. I am here today to share our magical appearing colors with you as part of our playful learning at home, so let's get started. For this activity, you will need some vinegar and baking soda, so I think you know where this is going, and we will need some food coloring, and I recommend we have a muffin tin, a small container to hold our vinegar, and I like to use some kind of an eyedropper. We use a pipette here at Discovery Center. Or for some of, if you don't have any of those, you can also use a squeezy bottle, but this will make one of the steps a little bit harder so the kids won't be able to do the entire activity. Now for this one, we're gonna go and hide the colors underneath the baking soda so the kids won't know what color they're gonna be getting. I prefer to use our primary colors for this one. So our primary colors, we have our yellow, our blue, and our red. Now, I'm just gonna use half of the baking, our baking pans right now, and we'll leave the other half empty so Kaylee can go and play with those in a little bit. So I have red that I'll put in two of them. Now you don't need much color for these. I'm gonna put yellow in two of them. And I'll put blue in the remaining two. Now, we're gonna go and hide those with our baking soda. Now, it doesn't need much baking soda, but we do need enough to cover up our color so we can't tell what it is. It doesn't need much, but it does need enough so we can't see what color is hiding. So if you need a little extra, you can put a little extra to hide it. Now oh, that one seems to be trying to peek out. Let's see. There we go. A little bit in that one. And a little bit in that one. All right. I have my baking soda ready. And now I need my helper. Miss Kaylee. Hi, Miss Kaylee. I'm gonna let you have this spot here. Are you ready to go? All right, I have my colors hiding. I have my vinegar right here. And, Can you pour? oh, we're not pouring. You need okay. to use this. So this is good practice for our fine motor skills for our kids. So you squeeze and then when you let go, it drinks up the vinegar. So I have clear mixed with white. What happens when you squeeze it? What happens? Squeeze it lots. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. What's happening? It's, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. Oh, you might need some more. Do we have any colors yet? Nope. Nope. All right, let's squeeze more. What color is that one going to turn into? Oh, do we have any colors yet? Yeah, blue. Oh, a little bit of blue. All right, let's keep going. Do you need some more in there? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. What color is that one? Woo, red. That's real red. That one's a very red one, huh? Oh, do you think you can find one of the yellows? Is that one a yellow one? No. Oh, yeah. what color? You found another blue. At least that one's a little bit more. You think that one's yellow? Yellow. Oh, you found a yellow one. Now the best part, since you have primary colors, have you been learning about colors in your art class? Yeah. Do you know what happens when you mix a primary color with another primary color? What do you get? You get a different color. You get a different color. So you can get, if you mix two primary colors, you get a secondary color, right? Mm -hmm. I think that one's yellow because I heard you say two is yellow. Oh, you heard me say there's two of each. So now I gave you a tray where I put half the color, where I only filled half of them. So now if you want, you can go and use our little squeezy tube here. Now you get the prize, go. Oh no, you, now you can go and use this and you can go and mix some of these colors together and see if you can go and make more. How? Well now, if you take some of the red out and put it in another spot. Now what color do you want to mix with your red? Um, this, All purple. Right. So if you mix blue and red, you should get purple. Do we need to add a little more of our Yeah. Tea? There we go. That's good. Oh! You 
You put too much. Did I add too much? This is why we have our this all on a tray so we don't get too much. Remember, you have to squeeze while it's underneath. I am. Do I need to add more? There it goes. There. <laughs> I need more red because it's more red. I need more water too. Water? I mean vinegar. There we go. Oh, <laughs> looks like a muffin. <laughs> That's good. We got does it need some more red? Maybe it's a little too dark. I like mixing my yellow with blue. What color do you get with yellow and blue? Green. Can you make it pretty green? There's yellow. Gonna get two scoops of each. Two scoops of each? Where's the green? You haven't made a green yet. I need blue. Is that a pretty green? Let's mix green with purple. Green with purple? What color do you think that's going to make? Oh no, black. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just going to make a mess? Yeah. So this is a great one to go and try to play at home. You can mix lots of different colors. It works even better in a mini muffin tin. We did not have one, so we just used a regular size muffin tin. But this is a great one to try mixing Ooh. all the different colors. You can use any kind of food coloring that you happen to have at home. Resources for this activity will be found on our website for Playful Learning at Home. You can also go and share any of your activities, whatever beautiful colors you manage to make at home or your uh, lovely bubbly muffins in your muffin tins on our webpage and on our social media channels using the hashtag Discovery Center Science so that we can see your creations. Thanks for Ooh. playing and learning with us today. Bye! Look! Ooh. I mixed that color. Very nice. Bye, everyone. Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities. Or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.